Good morning, it's MJ, and this is a general reading for the collective using the Crow Tarot, the Wise Dog, and the Grimalkin Tarot. I'm going to get right to it. I'm really late this morning. Um, we're on, well, I'm not on. <laughs> the kids are on winter break here in Seattle, so my daughter's been home. Uh, she's been home, plus she was sick for a week. She's been home for two weeks, going on her third week. And so in the morning, I have to juggle uh, doing mom tasks as well as um, other tasks such as email. So this today I'm just um, getting a, a late start. I should have probably gotten up a lot earlier. So let's get started. And I'm going to have to clear my energy because I'm feeling very high strung right now. So, all right. The first card I'm going to pull is that card that represents what we're working with today, what what channels are open, what energies are more potent than others. So we have here this Three of Cups. And so if you think of, I'm sorry, not Three of Cups, the Five of Cups. It's the Three of Cups that are, are fallen over, that have fallen over. And the story of this crow here is that it uh, left the, the bank, left its cups upright. And when it returned, it noticed that three of the cups were knocked over. And it was just distraught by the thought that it had lost these three cups. It doesn't even pay any attention to the two cups that are perfectly fine. And it, you know, it goes through the process of anger and, and grief and, and disbelief, you know, and blame. And, um, you know, it, it blames itself for leaving the cups unattended. It, it blames the, the, whoever, whatever it was um, for, for knocking over the cups. And so it's in this space mentally, emotionally, of just attachment to a loss. So where you just can't let it go. And um, especially if you know if it was somebody else who caused it, it can, it can create such havoc in that relationship. Um, if you're committed to something, if you had an expectation that something is supposed to be a certain way and it doesn't work out to be that way, you can feel almost as though something was taken away from you, even though it maybe never was, you know? And so because of that, you, you have this sense, this feeling that's almost like a heaviness that comes with it. And you can see it really like when I drew this crow, I wanted you to almost feel feel that heaviness in you know like the arch of its neck right you can you can get that that feeling that it's in a slump and what you, the crow doesn't see is that the path out of this there is a clear path and yes you know there is that obstacle the obstacle comes from overcoming these emotions and these emotions come with an attachment to something that isn't there anymore so let's see what happens with, you know, this reminds me of something. And um, if this if this relates to anybody out there, I would like to know this. Um, when you lose somebody or someone, and you still have, say, like we'll put this in a pet perspective, if you have, you know, three three dogs or three cats, and you lose one, it's like. And the focus is on what you lost and not on the, the, the life that you have with these two things that are still present in your life. That's the kind of vibe I'm picking up with this where there's something that's lost, but there's something else that's craving your attention. They're like saying, hey, I'm still here. You know, give me, give me some of that love and devotion. So let's see. Again, that's just the vibe I picked up. If it applies to somebody, you know, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Feel that way when I get really sad about Charlie, our dog who passed away a couple years ago, and then I remember I'm like, oh, but Layla, I hope that doesn't make you feel bad. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get the energy from the dogs that is going to come as an attraction to this Five of Cups. So here we have the Page of Swords, and this is Ribsy. This, this pup's name is Ribsy. And, you know, Ribsy has this talent 
for identifying um, people who have become jaded or who have become um, just so unimpressed by life, you know, and doesn't spend a moment thinking about them. He, this, this pup does not let them deter him from his goal, which is seeking the truth and, and finding his own purpose. And so he's very adamant about cutting through um, the, the negative um, uh, input that others like to uh, share, especially if, you know, if they've had failures in the past or if they've suffered a loss or if they've, you know, um, if they didn't get to live their dream, they're really, these are the people who are very quick to criticize or to knock down others who are living their dreams. So how these two tie in is I feel like you may encounter somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, who is going to help you see that this attachment that you're holding on to is keeping you in the past. It's not allowing you to cut through the haze. It's not allowing you to find the path out so that you can even confront the obstacle that you will need to overcome to reach a brighter, a brighter future. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have such a, a frog in my throat. Um, so here is where you're going to encounter somebody who's very strong, you have these poppies down here, who's very strong and passionate about what they believe. And they're very sharp in their way of, of communicating sometimes. And they're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell you the truth. They're gonna tell you how it is. And they're gonna help you see that what you need to move away from isn't serving you any longer. These white trees here in the back, you can see they're, 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 um, they've moved on. You know, they no longer carry life in them. They're no longer, um, they're not even, they're not dormant. You know, they're, they're just, they're, they're hollowed out branches practically. And so what this energy is going to help you do is it's going to help you see your way through this forest that isn't supplying you with any nourishment, spiritual or otherwise. So, and this is where the sun comes in and it's going to help illuminate who this person is. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sorry, and I have Layla pushing me off the couch. She is, I posted yesterday on Instagram, her being a couch hog. You are such a couch hog. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see what these cats bring to us. Uh, uh, in the form of advice. So if you are in this, if you are in this position where you just, you can't let go of something, look for those around you who, um, who are honest, you know, who will help, help you, who will be your support, who will tell you how it is, you know, that good friend, like a good friend isn't going to let you wallow in self-pity. That's for sure. Uh, you know, a friend that like sits there and and uh, enables you or feeds into, um, you know, the blame game is not a good friend. You know, a good friend is going to let you get it all out. It's, it's going to let you, you know, spew all of the stuff that you have going on inside so that you can see that path forward. And they're going to help you find that path forward, you know. Um, they're not going to sit there and go like, oh yeah, that's totally somebody else's fault. So, um, oh, I mean, even if it is somebody else's fault, it's like, it's about letting go of this attachment so that you can move ahead. It's about moving forward. It's not about staying in the past. It's not about, you know, I mean, until somebody invents a time machine, you cannot go back and change things. So all you can do is move forward. What we have here is this Knight of Wands, and this is where um, the call is to add some passion, get excited, get moving on an idea, get creative about how you're going to let go of the situation. You know, um, let your creativity just sort of spark new, um, uh, I don't wanna say like philosophies, but you know, like, like a new way of approaching this loss or whatever it is that is it has its grips in you when you combine 
the energy. And these two cards, very funny. Um, sorry, <clears throat> the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands here, they almost have a very similar color palette. So I'm going to kind of read these as these two are pairing up. <clears throat> and they are, you know, the, they really want you to break free from this pattern. That's, that's the message here is to break free from whatever it is. That, and this may be not the first time you've come along and held an attachment to something that's lost. So if this does seem to be a recurring theme and you find yourself falling back into that trap of, you know, um, letting your emotions uh, keep you attached to something that isn't serving you, it may be time to face the reality and confront the belief that keeps you going back to this place because it may be, I mean, this may be where you need to fight for your own, your own justice, right? Whatever it is, this may be a belief that was instilled a long time ago. And it's like, I feel this, this, like you need to cut yourself free from this and cut through this path because these things are not serving you. They're hollow. And so the Knight of Wands, I mean, it's, once you get moving, this spark, you know, like, um, like a, a, like a, a spark in a dry brush, it's going to just go up in flames. And so that's what I'm getting here. It's like, once you figure out the areas of your life that aren't serving you, that are holding you back, that are preventing you from seeing the path, if you light a, a, a spark in your creativity and that imagination of yours, it will remove those trees as well. You're going to, you're going to need to come up and understand what you believe and why you believe it and stand firm with who you are deep down. so that you can release yourself from this, from these cups. But the call the cats are bringing is here. It's, it's move forward, go ahead. It's time to let go. It's time to confront whatever obstacle this is. It's time to burn down these bushes that aren't serving you anymore so that you can see that path clearly and get moving. So that's the message I'm getting today. Hmm. Um, I hope this makes sense and much love, peace, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.